Yo, welcome back to the channel. Okay, I won't be weird on this intro. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a cool video in store for you guys today because we're gonna be talking about two awesome things that are going on. Number one, we're gonna be talking about what I consider to be the best budget glide bait, small swim bait rod setup. I think you guys are gonna be really interested to find out that this rod company is not one you've probably actually even heard of. The other thing we're going to be talking about is a giveaway. I finally reached a thousand subscribers, so I got to do a badass giveaway. Some of them are store bought and some of them are custom painted by me or poured made out of soft plastic. So yeah, stick with us guys. Hope you guys liked the video. If you do, smash the thumbs up. All right, so I'm going to talk about the reels first because I made a huge mistake when I initially bought my reel. It was too small. Essentially, I have the Daiwa Tatula 6 3 to 1 gear ratio. It's the 150 size. You don't want to get the 150 size for bigger glide baits. You'll end up stripping out your gears inside of these. And plus, the spools on these 200 size Tatulas or 300 size Tatulas just hold more line. When you got a longer rod, in a deeper spool, you could cast further. I know, it's rocket science, right? This is what I'm going with now. This is the Daiwa Tatula 6 3 to 1 gear ratio. You want a slower gear ratio when you're throwing glide baits. Whether they're small or big, you want to reel them in super slow. It's kind of like a finesse presentation, Got him. but with a freaking huge ass bait. <laughs> but yeah, I got it spooled up with 16 pound Sunline FC Sniper fluorocarbon. I love it. I actually ended up buying like three or four new spools. I'm going to put it on my A-Rig rod. I also got it on my cranking rod. Amazing line, amazing reel, especially for the price. I think the Tatulas run about anywhere, depending on the size, from 175 to like 225 bucks. It's a really budget-friendly setup. I know it's really expensive for a lot of you guys, but it's certainly not as expensive as the high-end gear. Me, myself, just like you guys, I'd like to get stuff on a budget. So the rod that I'm using is a company that a lot of you guys probably never even heard about. Unless you live out west or down south where throwing glide baits and swim baits is like a thing that everybody does. But out here in Midwest, especially in Ohio, I've never heard one person talk about, mention, show pictures, anything about this company. And if you can't tell by the hat already, the rod company itself is called iRod. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I don't even know if they do a lot of sponsorships like a lot of other bigger companies. I just pretty much do this stuff out of the kindness of my heart because when I find a product that a lot of people don't know about, I wanna share that kind of information. So yeah, let's talk about the rod itself. This is the iRod Genesis 3. This is the junior swim rod. This is a seven foot eight rod. So the key thing about this that I really like is it's very comfortable in the hands. It's very lightweight and it casts a mile. I really, really like this rod. It keeps fish pinned. This one specifically, the Junior Swim that I've been using, has a moderate action, which is pretty key when you're throwing big glide baits like this. The line that you could use is 12 to 20 pound. Uh, it'll handle baits from one to four ounces. Out in the Midwest, I'm not really throwing any bigger glide baits than that. Again, it's a seven foot eight, moderate action rod, super lightweight, super comfortable. And I love it. There's only one drawback to this rod. And it doesn't really affect me, but it might affect you guys. So the guides are micro guides. And the only drawback for that is when you're throwing braid to fluoro leaders. I don't usually do that. So it doesn't bother me at all. But if you throw straight fluorocarbon, you're good. It still casts a country mile. I love it. Got a lot of fish on it. These rods come in at a really budget friendly price. 149 bucks. Are there better rods out there? Absolutely. But if you compare it to the other rods that a lot of people use, like the Dobbins Fury, those are about the same price. They're maybe like 139 bucks, something along those lines. Bang for your buck. This one smokes it, dude. This iRod Genesis 3 Junior Swim Rod freaking smokes the Dobbins Fury rod all day, every day. I have them both. I don't even touch the other one anymore. I gotta get a new reel for that. And I'm planning on throwing bigger swim baits, like soft plastic swim baits on that. But yeah, that's the rod and reel setup that I use. Let's go ahead and go over the giveaway. That's probably actually why you guys clicked on the video. You want some stuff? I wanna give you some stuff. Item number one, item number one on the giveaway is this glide bait that I painted. This is a six inch glide bait. Uh, of course, I'll be adding some quality hooks and, and split rings to this. 
But yeah, this is like a subsurface glide bait. Oh, they God. work incredibly well. Was it the well. first cast? The very first time I threw this bait, I caught a fish on it. Next up is a knockoff river to see S waiver 168. This is a six inch glide bait. This is like a bass sinking glide bait. The action of it's pretty cool too. Um, I, I painted this up in like a dirty shad pattern. I was experimenting with some stencils and some paintbrush work, but it's pretty cool. Look at the top of it. Next up, item number three, Whopper Plopper. Can't go wrong with the 75 Whopper Plopper, especially in creeks and rivers. This thing slays. This is another one that I custom painted. Check that dude out. And again, I'll be adding treble hooks to these as well. We also have this little 3.5 inch square bill that I painted. Cool little design on it. Look at this cool little Mega Bass knockoff here. This is like a Vision 110 plus one. Beautiful freaking jerkbait. I have a handful of these. Might as well give you guys one of them. We also have some six and a half inch ribbon tail worms that I custom poured. Check that out. Got a bag of frogs too. But that's it for the baits that I painted and poured myself. Let's talk about store-bought stuff. These are ribbit frogs right here. And this is a watermelon red color. We also have some Swing Impact Fat Kitek swim baits here. This is electric shad color. This is a laminate bait, meaning the top color is a different color than the bottom. Look at that, that's pretty sweet. These are 4.8 inches, so bigger fish. That's what we want with these baits that I'm giving away is bigger fish. And last but not least, I got a Fish Lab Soft Biogill. Check that thing out. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Well, I hope you guys really love this giveaway. And I really hope that the winner of these baits catches a freaking giant. If you do, please tag me either on Facebook or um, Instagram. I'd love to see some of the catches that you guys get on these baits. Now, I should probably talk about how to win, right? Part of the video. All right, it's really super simple, guys. All you have to do is like this video, you be subscribed to my channel, and in the comments section, comment, I want those baits. That's it. The winner of the giveaway will be announced in my next video. Typically, I, I go every other week, so every two weeks I should post a video. Um, but yeah, that's the giveaway. That's the rod and reel breakdown of the Glock bait setup that I've been using successfully for the last six months. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, smash the thumbs up, click buttons, and stay subscribed because I'm going to be doing some more giveaways. I love giving away some stuff, especially stuff that I paint. But that's it for the video. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Zoom on my face for the love of God. Why did my voice go so high? Ugh, talk like a normal human. This, this rod that, but in my opinion, God, I.